Good evening guys. I'm starting to vlog at a peculiar time again. It's actually uh, 11 o'clock at night. Um, I've been a busy chappy. I've, uh, I've been at Mum's today. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, this evening, for the past hour, I've been sorting screws. That is what I've got so far. And all I've done is sort through about a dozen bags, like these on the floor down here. And I uh, started sifting through this box. And I still got that red one, which is chock full to go through yet. And whatever else I find in those ones. So yeah, I'm going to be here a long, long time. Got the washer part, part of bolts and things. Pardon me, the nuts. You name it, I'm not keeping any of these little dowels or anything. Um, pretty much just screws. I might keep the large nails. You don't know when a nail's going to come in useful. I've got shed loads of these elsewhere, so I can go in that bin. I don't need them. Um, so far, this is what I've got hexagon key wise. Now, I think about at least a half a dozen of these came out of this tub. <laughs> so I'm just uh, putting things up there. I think I found about 20 pence and copper coins. Here we go, there's another one. <laughs> Two piece and one piece are in here. Oh dear. Yep, I've got another little baggie here. I don't want that. I don't think I've got any use for that anyway. So yeah, I might actually take a break. This is something I'll probably just do as and when I get bored. Um, anyway, as I said, I was at Mum's today. I'm going to Mum's again tomorrow. Um, we did go to the recycle centre and I found one bike, one nice ladies bike. It's a Viking brand. Um, pretty damn clean. Wheel bearings need to be sorted. They're a bit loose in the back wheel. Um, I need to adjust the gears. Find a couple of handlebar grips, which I'll look up tomorrow. Change the tyres, and that's it. <laughs> I took. I actually um, pumped the tyres up and took it down the road, but the tyres aren't. They're not to my satisfaction anyway. They're shit. So I'm going to change them. I don't even know if the wheels I picked up actually went with that bike. Because the bike frame had no wheels in it. But there's a pair of wheels laying close to it. So I just presumed they were the wheels. Um, also I've got a few things out of their shop. I got another foot pump. Can never have too many pumps. And it works, that's what I use to pump the tyres up. Um, no pressure gauge on it, but it does work. Uh, sort of like um, a ratchet clamp thing. I just thought that would be useful, like a quick release clamp. My stepdad's got about four in orange, and I saw this one land there, and I just thought that's going to be useful, I'll keep that. So I grabbed that in the shop as well, I think I spent about eight pounds in there. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, um, then I actually bought a couple of items off of Biggles. Now, as you know, I've got that Sony Vio computer in the bedroom, uh, which has got the um, gear installed on it that I need to, you know, to take footage from a video camera, the old style, tape style. Actually, I could probably do it with this one, actually. If I just set this to play for um, an AV cable. But anyway, first when I went over, well, actually I was going to go down the workshop, but I got past Biggles' workshop to uh, get to mine and my stepdad's. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm going to take a break from the sorting, so... Oh, I need a cloth. 
అన్నీ I'm nuts. <laughs> Let me just go find a cloth. I'm getting hold on. Nice roast pork, mums. Actually, coming through here isn't a bad thing. Actually, I won't bother getting it yet. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to cl clear that up before I go to bed. He ate and threw it up. Thank you, Nemo. It's just what I've always wanted. Anyway, I will get to what I wanted to show you. This is one the other reason I start what to bed the fur. This is the other reason I wanted to start a vlog. A video, whatever you want to call it tonight. Now, you're probably wondering why am I showing you a toiletry bag? Because it isn't toiletries, that's in it. <laughs> oh, flame in hell. Um why do I have to move my stack of CDs? Why? Oh. I think gonna work. Just uh, try and stand you a little bit dodgily up there. Just turn my screen a bit better. That's better. I can see you. Well, I can see me rather, not see you. Okay. So I paid. A whopping two pounds for this. So, open that up. All pockets. Okay, so we've got one. One battery. Two battery. An external power cord. A completely unrelated device. I'll just put it in there. It's a, um, Volkswagen Beetle computer mouse. And, uh, while I've got it in my hand, I'm just going to plug it in because I've got a feeling it lights up. Yes, it does. <laughs> I had a feeling it did. <laughs> yeah, it's working. <laughs> Helps to unplug the correct USB cable, anyway. I'm actually very tempted to swap that with my mouse. <laughs> Just for the novelty. Anyway, what else have we got? <laughs> oh. I might as well do the, that. We've got a JVC compact VHS camcorder. Uh, I'm not actually sure what model number this is. This has got two model numbers on it. And, uh, let's have a look. Well, it comes with um, three tapes. There's two here, and there's one in the camera itself. It does seem to work. I've not recorded with it, but I have played back video. There's the charger. I don't really want the bag. Shit. Um, is there a model number on this? Ah, this is the AX280, the GR-AX280. Um, but yeah, here it is. It does work. Someone's put paint on that side of the battery, but um, I did clean off the contacts and it does charge. It won't charge if this is connected. The idea is you plug your charger in and then you plug this, one end of this into the charger and the other end into the camera. Um, then it can basically run it from a main supply. Um, but you can't charge your battery at the same time. Not while this is connected anyway. But uh, see if I can um, just connect the battery up. See if it's held to charge. Well, this does actually have in here as well, which I did notice, a lithium cell for the onboard clock. No idea if that is actually any good or not. Battery clips in like that. Here's your viewfinder, and you got a little switch on the back here. Lights come on. Lens cover. Let me switch for the lens cover. I've got pops on the side there.
I presume it records in colour. Even though the screen is uh, black and white, there is some marks on the screen I can see. But I don't know if it's actually something on the lens. No, it appears to be inside somewhere. But uh, I'll just uh, and that should Doink. spit the tape out. Like so, um, oh, that's quite an old one. Christmas '99. I have actually played that back. There is um, Christmas footage on this, which uh, I'll obviously erase. So yeah, we've got this one, and then we've got the other two. And then to get it to catch, you do that, press that. There we go. It does, uh, like I said, I haven't tried it to see if it records, but every other function is, uh, I hope, has the battery gone dead already? I'm not getting any of them. So yeah, this is number one. Now, I, can't, I haven't actually found an AV out on this, or anything like that. I don't know how old this one is. It is, uh... Made in Japan. Um, let me just run and get the other one. It's a spare battery. After all this time, I may need some replacement batteries. I can't imagine they would be that good. Yeah, the other one through here. There we go. Here's the other one. I paid £5 for that one. That one is tested and working. Because I know um, Biggles came home with that one months ago and he's had it sitting around ever since. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just open the box. Most of the text on this box is actually in French. Um, which leads me to believe this may have been bought over from France, possibly. Um, here's the charger for it. There's the strap. Got a case. And of course, I can order. Now this is definitely the better one out of the two, and I may actually try recording some footage with this. Like I said, I've got um, the equipment to get footage from this to a PC, so um, the battery is dead on this, and I know the tape is still in it. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to plug my charger in and I'll get it charged up. I know it was working because, uh, like I said, when Biggles first bought it home, he and my stepdad did uh, test it all out and whatnot. But uh, chances are, if you find things like this, they do work. It's just that people have thrown them out because of their age. Right. That's connected. I've got no idea if the damn thing is doing anything. There's no instruction booklet for this one like there is with the JVC. Um, this one is a Samsung um, digital one touch control, easy model VP W60. Samsung Electronics Co. Limited. Yeah, and the warning on this is all in French as well, so possibly. Uh, it's got VPW60 PAL 8mm camcorder, then it's got a big 8 next to it. Mm. 
We've got a red blinking light. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, this one's working. Got what looks like a big friggin' hair right in the middle of the screen, though. But again, that could be just inside the viewfinder. It may not actually affect the video. Right, so how the bloody hell do you eject it? Ah. Well, press tape eject. I have the tape. Oh! Very funky. Now this one uses different tapes. That's a shame. I was hoping I could swap tapes, but no. So I've only got this one, 8mm. I don't know, I don't know what the 8mm means. I don't mean the actual width across there. I don't know. I'm not familiar with these. Never had one when we were growing up. Press the button again. No. Oh, I see. You just push that shut and push that down. Oh, yeah. I oh, know this one works. So, yeah, this has got the AV on the top here. Zoom on the top here. Date, time, edit. Edit, fast forward, edit, rewind, play, pause, all the usual buttons. Battery release, on, off, enter, up and down, whatever up and down is. Ah, it's like a focus. Aha. Yeah. Digital, allegedly. Shouldn't think something like this was um, cheap when it was new. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off. It's got a little scroll wheel here to turn it on and off. You have to press the little green button in, otherwise it won't move. So I'm going to turn that to that. Put the lens cap on, just to keep crap off the lens. Red light is flashing. I presume that means it's charging. So I'm going to tuck it under. I'm not sure, I don't know. I'm not going to be doing much on the desk tonight, so I might as well leave it there. Yeah, I have to see if I can find some tapes from somewhere. Hmm, I suppose if I just eBay eBay search uh, 8mm tapes or cassettes or whatever it'll come up here's the hmm. do I really need a strap? Yeah. put that back in the box yay! play! anyway I'm going to leave the video there for tonight and I'll tune back in when I get my ass out of bed in the morning Probably be close to lunchtime when I uh, go over to Mum's, and I'm going to take a few bits with me, um, so I can finish that girl's bike over there. That'll give me something to do. I know I want, I want to find out a couple of tyres. I think I just need to take my toolbox. I don't think I need any cables or anything. So yeah. I'll see you all in the morning. Well, good morning. Well, afternoon technically, but I've been awake a couple of hours anyway, so... Uh, um, <clears throat> original plan, not going to happen. <laughs> Mum uh, wanted to leave today, so I'm not going over to Mum's. Um, but a friend of mine did ring me, so I could go down there and pick up those other bits and bobs but first as there seems to be a lot of uh, fish so to speak 
biting on ads. I've actually, I left two adverts up on Gumtree and I got four or five replies when I looked at my email this morning. Um, so yeah, you could say the fish are biting, so I want to get that one done. From what I can tell, it doesn't need a lot. I don't know if the gears are going to need any adjustment. I haven't actually tried them. Um, it's just the brakes. And I was going to sit and do it up here, but I think what I'll do is I need to clean up in here anyway to make a bit of room to move. Um, what I'm actually going to do is take the bike downstairs because the brake cable I want is downstairs on a bike, so uh, do I need any specialist tools or... No, I don't believe I do. I've got some wire cutters down there. I think I just need to take some outers and a brake cable to replace the front one with. And uh, I think that's it. Front tires um, stayed up. Speaking of front tires, I did check the one on my uh, German shopper, the folding bike, and uh, that's gone completely flat. I've got a feeling it's a slowish puncture because the following morning when I moved the bike from in here to the landing, when I swapped it with the mountain bike, it still had air in the tar, so or maybe rolling it around punctured it, I don't know. But uh, I think it's probably got a slow. I'll change the tube, I've got some I think I've got some that hold air down in the shed. I've got a crow making a lot of noise out there. There was one making a hell of a lot of noise a few minutes ago because there was a cat out there. A nice tabby cat. I've not seen that one before. I don't know if it's still out here. But it's like it was, I don't know, warning? Oh, I can see the crow from here. He's in the tree. I don't know if I can... Uh... There he is. Big ass crow in the tree. You want to know what he's after? It looks like one of my neighbours has uh, thrown something down there for the birds. I ain't got a friggin' clue what the hell it is. <laughs> I know um, my neighbour next door tends to throw bread and whatnot out. Eh? Well, that's what he was. Uh, that's probably what he was um, shouting at, trying to scare the cat off, probably, so he could uh, hop down there and go eat it. And something just made him jump. Go on, fucking eat it. Where'd that blackbird go? There's a blackbird down there somewhere. I've got Pidgey down on the wall. That little wood pigeon. <clears throat> they are becoming quite a problem in this town. On account of there's pigeon shit everywhere. I ain't, I ain't just exaggerating either. You walk down the footpaths, down the town centre, and there's just pigeon shit everywhere. <clears throat> We've had a problem like that before, and um, they went around and humanely trapped them and uh, released them, I don't know how many miles away. Uh, sort of like a, a humane cull, if you like, and we didn't have a problem, but now I guess what we had left has uh, mated and reproduced, and now we've got a problem again. I suppose, um, suppose you could kill off all the pigeons, but is it really worth it over a bit of pigeon poop? You might as well just uh, do what they did and catch them and release them somewhere many miles away. Ah, I'll clean that up. I might actually just clean that bit up before I take it down. Take the light bracket off. I don't think it's got one on the back. Nope, just that one on the handlebar. And that stupid... I hate these bells. And then it's pathetic, isn't it? The way it ding, it's not even loud. Nope. The old fashioned one I got on my German folding bike is a lot louder than that, that's why I prefer them. Not that I actually use bells. <laughs> even when I've had a bike with a bell on, I've never used it. Perhaps I should. 
I did have an electric horn on one of my bikes at one point till it died. Anyway, that's my plan of action. Um, so I'm going to try and get this done. And if I've got a bit of time and it's not pissing it down with rain because it is meant to rain later, I'll um, zip down to my friends and I'll pick that last box of crap up. And that bike frame because I can throw wheels now. That reminds me. That lad that bought that blue rally mountain bike off me has just offered me some free bikes to fix up. Uh, I don't know if he's replied yet. I don't mind if I got to go down and pick him up. It's not, a, you know, not a problem. No, he's not replied yet. Uh, I suppose if I've got the energy, I could put two wheels in my GT bike that's downstairs and. Uh, Oh yeah, and two inner tubes if I can find them. And uh, <laughs> get that one up for sale. Actually, I could nick... I know the back wheel of my donor bike downstairs has got um, air in the back wheel. So I could nick the tube out of that one. Uh, I don't want to change... Um, use the wheel, because the wheel that I've got for the GT bike is... a. Uh, set up for that frame anyway. Uh, it's a bit of a bugger because I wanted to get um, those, I got that lady's bike at Mum's I picked up yesterday and a frame that Biggles gave me. Um, the frame was perfectly fine but we noticed the forks were um, a bit on the wonky side. Um, not bent under the frame. If you look at the bike this way, the forks, instead of being straight like that, they were bent over like that. And the back wheel, when he got the bike, was then folded in half as well. Or it was, you know, curved that sort of way. So I'm guessing that maybe the bike was in a garage or leaning against a wall or something and someone accidentally either drove in or into it or reversed into it. The weird thing is, though, it didn't damage the back part of the frame. It's only done the forks and the back wheel. It didn't even buckle the front wheel. Um, it's fixable. You know, I can drop another pair of forks in there, or I could try and straighten the ones out that are in there. Uh, but I think it's going to be just as easy to find uh, or replace the forks. Because the frame is nice. It's a nice Peugeot frame. Um, I could build up quite nicely. Yeah, Biggles uh, stripped it for parts because it had quite a few nice parts on. I don't know why he does that. He could have sold it whole. It would have been a lot easier. But well, then again, I suppose with the forks being bent, it wasn't worth it, was it? Not to him. But I like building them, so it's worth it to me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, so that's my plan. Get that downstairs. That tyre, I've just noticed the tyre on the front there takes up a lot of room. There's not a lot of space between the rubber boots on the forks and the tyre. <laughs> um, so long as it spins fine and not rubbing, I don't care. Um, but if it is, then I may have to swap the tyre for the back one. Which I don't really want to do. Oh, I'll clean the wheel up as well. <sighs> well, a lot of the time they don't notice dirt on the wheels, but... Uh, when I take photos, so uh, I can clean that up probably after I take the photo. I'm going to take the camera down. Do I need to go anywhere to get anything? No, apart from that stuff. Which I was thinking I could do now and get that done out of the way, but no, I know as soon as I go down there, I'm going to want to pick up something else, you know. I'll get roped into helping them, I should say. Which I could do, I'd just take the day off and do the bike tomorrow. That's what I could do. In fact, I might do that, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, but before I do go to my friends, I've just got to find up my socket. 14mm socket, because the... the um, oops. On the rally bike I used to pull my little trailer. That's the whole reason I kept it. Um, 
left pedal arm has come loose. Not majorly loose, but it's loose enough that it, one, it annoys me. And two, if I don't tighten it up, it's just going to cut, um, work, sorry, work its way even more loose and uh, I'll end up damaging the crank arm and I'll have to replace that, so, yeah, just, you know, using a bike with a loose bit like that just causes more damage and in the end more of an arse ache to fix it. <laughs> Uh, or could even sit and do this this evening, to be honest. If I just remember to uh, bring up the parts. Right, so I've got my ratchet dewey. I'll put my cola back in the fridge and I'm going to just go downstairs, tighten that pedal arm up. And uh, hook the trailer up. And Throw me bungees in the trailer. I nearly forgot them the other day when I went down there. If it weren't for the fact I couldn't hear, I was going down the road and thinking my trailer sounds rather quiet. <laughs> I probably would have got all the way to my friends and then thought, oh poo, I've got nothing to tie anything down with. <clears throat> right, I'm going to disappear then and I'll be back, I don't know, later today. No idea when. <laughs> choking on my own spit. Oh yeah, last night I did get that tub sorted out a whole lot. So I've got quite a few screws in this tin. So now I've just got what's in here. And I think there's some loose bits in the bottom of that one. There might be some in there. I don't think there is. I think it's just large, big items. Yeah, there might be some loose stuff in the bottom of this one. Uh, I suppose I could go over to my... There's another bloody Allen key, look. There's another one. I've got a spanner. And another one. And a battery. <laughs> and another one. Seriously, by the time I'm done sorting through these, I'm not going to be short of hexagon keys. I mean, just looking here. I found a drill bit in the box as well. I've actually got another tub of that, like that, full of hexagon keys. But I don't know where it is. Uh, was over there. Anyway, I'm going to disappear, so I'll see you later. Well, I'm back from my friends with another trailer full. I've got everything back from there now. I haven't unloaded it yet because it's pissing it down with rain. Uh, but since Saturday, there's been a bike left on a road sign right to the entrance to his road. Well, in fact, it was there, sadly. Then he said yesterday that I'd moved and was laying in someone's hedge. And today, when I went past, it was back on the signpost. And uh, it's a bit of a wreck. It's rusty. The chain's rusted. It's... Oof. But... I'm going to assume it's abandoned, as it's been there three days. I've locked it to the signpost, one of my locks. So I ain't going to go anywhere, and I'm going to go after it tonight. Frame is good, it's pretty much everything else on it is shit. Um, well, it would need a complete overhaul if I was to do it, but I've got a bike up here, I've got a bike on the trailer, I've got two at Mum's, I've got one in the shed. Yeah, so I guess I'll be working on bikes tomorrow. Uh, it'll be used as a donor bike for the time being, at least. But I do like the frame, so I'll probably keep the frame. But forks, suspension forks, and I think they're seized. <clears throat> anyway, we were trying to get his ride on mower to start. Um, we did. Uh, but the throttle was stuck wide open for some reason. Um, and even when he moved it by hand, it just made no difference whatsoever, so there's obviously something wrong in the carb. Maybe one of the jets itself is stuck open, I don't know. But, uh, 
two carbs and one sticks open one doesn't let fuel through I think what I might he might do or I might suggest if I see him again is to clean up the other carb that he took off and try that one again I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon. Oh, Mum phoned me. Well, she left a message on Facebook actually asking me to ring her, so I just did. Uh, Biggles has got a Sega Mega Drive. Um, from what Mum tells me, neither him or Gaz actually know what they're talking about. It's the first one, the one that came out with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, they all had Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> That don't mean nothing. Um, but if it is the same one as I've already got in the la in the bedroom, then of course I don't want it because I've already got one. Um, but what makes me laugh is Biggles said it's they make thirty thirty five quid on eBay all day long. We just got to always put all day long on it. Well, I've just had a quick look on eBay, and uh, that's utter bollocks, because the cheapest one I found on there was £8 something. And that was the current bid. And a game, and controllers and everything. I mean, I can get a Master System 2 from Black Records for 35 quid with controller antenna lead, power adapter, and three games. So, I'm trying my best to get some cash to get that. Because uh, that's the one I've been after for a while, a master system. Uh, so hopefully, if it hasn't sold, all I'd need to do is actually shift one bike and I'll have enough to get it because I've already got some cash in my bank and a bit in my wallet so I suppose I could always go in and ask if I can put a deposit on like a £20 deposit or something and then just pay the 15 when I go in to collect it once I've sold one of my bikes I've got a bit of a stock at the minute again I've just got to pull my finger out of my ass and get get them done Anyway, I'm just wondering, am I a bit peckish or am I not? Well, it was five o'clock, I didn't realise it. I didn't realise it was that late. Right. Uh, I actually think I'm going to go downstairs with some tools and just get that cable off of said bike downstairs. No, I won't. I'm going to have a clean up in this lounge first. Uh, see if I can get some of these tubs down here stacked up, thrown up there perhaps, just so I've got a bit of room to move. Uh, I'll throw these battery chargers, all everything back in there basically out of the way for now. Um, that tub is a tub of bits and pieces I've been sorting out from this lot and that lot of useful little items that I'd like to keep hold of, like uh, that little caster wheel. And there's wooden doorknobs, there's plastic doorknobs, there's even some metal cupboard doorknobs in there. I don't know one of them. Go in there. But yeah, there's a there's a hell of a lot of crap in here. There's another corner bracket thing. I actually have no idea what there is exactly in there because uh, I um, just tipped. He gave me the boxes of the crap that he wanted tipped into the scrap and I just tipped them in here so I haven't got a clue what is actually in it. There's that thing. Yeah, so I need to make some room. A big times. Ooh, I've got this light working. <laughs> It's actually quite freaking bright. I've just got, oh, it's got a touchy button on it. Oh, there we go. Then it's got that f funky flash pattern. So it looks exactly the same as the one I've got 
in the box under my bed, but the flash patterns are different. So it may even, you know, be one of these where it's uh, based on the same design. It's got 10 LEDs on that. Heck. Oh, yeah, I just shot it in my eyes. Now I can see his red dots when I blink. That was clever, wasn't it? Yeah, so if I actually, you know, get the rest of these junk thrown back in that and some of these empty tubs and whatnot, stacked up there, I can drag this full one over and perhaps stand that full one on top of it and uh, I'll have a bit of room. That I'm going to put in the carrier bags before I put them in the bin. Can't put it in the bin like that. Uh, and I can't put it in a black bin bag because it's going to be too heavy. So I was just going to fill up some bit um, carrier bags and ditch them that way. Right, I'm going to get on with some things then, so next time I return, I should be working on that. Okay, bag's gone. Take it on the land and actually I've taken a photo of it and it's up on uh, Gumtree. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I'll do it that way. It's far Fox is frozen. Right. I've also got my GT up. I went downstairs and threw some wheels into that. And uh, took a photo of that. Alright, I'm coming here for two things. One, to feed the cat. And two, to turn the oven on because I'm hungry. Don't want the front pan on just yet. I'm gonna do my usual sausage egg and chips. Right. My plan is to invest in one more console, James console. Hence why I'm trying to get rid of a couple of bikes. One of my favourite shops in town, Black Records, has a Sega Master System for sale. The um, second one, Sega Master System 2, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, he's asking £35 for it, with all cables and three games. So... Or something like that. Yeah. So I'm not too far short, to be honest. Um, if I sell one bike, I'd be able to get it anyway and still have cash left over. But uh, you know, I don't want to go wasting money what I've got without having a failsafe there. You know. Okay. I want to spend, well, I'd have to spend everything I've got now to get it, and then I'd be skin, you know, not able to get any drinks in or any, well, the drinks don't matter because I've got water in the tap, but you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah. I'd rather have a little bit of spare cash, so I'm going to sell, hopefully, sell at least one bike. Let's check. Emails because you never know. Thanks for posting an ad. I've got two in spam already. I've got two replies already. The GT. I've got no idea without going there. What size the frame it is, please? Looking for a bike for my 13 year old son. Where are you in North Walsham? I'm in North Walsham. <laughs> in that case then, someone wants to know what the model is. Um, GT what, in other words. <laughs> I'll get you the frame size, buddy, when I can find me fucking tape measure. 
<laughs> I'm always losing. I'm always losing something. Um, bum, bum, bum. That clock works, by the way. Forgot to tell you. What's not hiding on there? Um, it's for his 13 year old son he's looking for a bike for. Uh, and I had a feeling I put that uh, Mountain Ridge mountain bike on Gumtree first. Probably about 30 to 45 minutes before I put the GT on. And as soon as I put the GT on, boom. I knew it. I knew it. Just because of the brand, I knew it would uh, sell. But there we go. Maybe tomorrow I'll have my money if they come and get it. <laughs> if, you know, I don't know when they want to collect it. If they want to collect it, because obviously it may not be the correct size for his son. Where is that fucking tape measure? Why can't inanimate objects be animated so you can just say, Oi, tape measure, where the fuck are you? And it'll reply. I'm over here. That'd make life a lot fucking easier, wouldn't it? Right, that's rubbish. Um, I don't even think I've got a tape measure down in the toolbox in the shed, to be honest. Uh, I know I'm not going to have it in here. Oven's heating up. Loads. I'll put a third one in. <laughs> it's good that, because I turn the kitchen light on and they go off. So the batteries would last quite a while. I've got one that stayed on for so long and kept turning itself off. It's actually laying on the side, I don't know. I think I have some sort of a technical issue with it. Oh no, I could have buried the flipping thing up here. Let's move the JVC. No, I've got Lego videos to record for the Lego channel. <sighs> so much to do, not enough hours in a day to do it. Right. Well, I'm going to find this poxy tape measure. Hopefully. <laughs> Go find out what size frame that is. And uh, what type of GT it is. And uh, I'll be back later, probably after I've had a bite to eat. Okay, it's uh, five past midnight. <clears throat> So I'm a bit late with this video today, but never mind. <coughs> oh. The end of my thumb is actually pretty sore. You can't see anything, but I had the end of a uh, brake cable stabbed straight into the end of my finger when I was working on that mountain ridge and doing the front brake. So I've put one of those little silver um, cable ends on it so no one else or whoever buys the bike won't do it themselves. Because it Fucking hurts. That, and I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Not very well, but I've got what we call a Whitlow over here on the side of my finger. So that's going to have to be burst. Anyway, I've been out for a little walk. Pick this puppy up. Um, not sure what to make of it, to be honest. I mean, you can't steer the fucking thing because it's so stiff. That was, uh... It's just so jerky and stiff. I'm pretty certain no one rode that there. Or if they did, it would have been one hell of a tough job. Um... Forks are stiff as hell. Gears don't work properly. Bottom bracket bearings are loose. Wheel bearings are loose. Mud guard was loose, it was actually like this when I found it. And scraping on the tar. Like I said, it had been sitting down that end of town for... Whew, since Saturday. It turned up Saturday afternoon. Wasn't there when I went to my friends. But it was there when I left, so it turned up in daylight. So I'm pretty certain if it was... A stolen bike, it wouldn't have been dumped on a busy housing estate in the middle, in broad daylight, because that was busy, that was... It's the weekend, you know, those kids and parents and whatnot all over the place, so... 
I'm doubting it's a pinched bike. Besides, if it was, I'd have seen it on Facebook. People would have posted it what and whatnot on local groups. My bike's been stolen. Well, my friend's bike has been stolen. Trust me, I've followed those books for the, a number of years. Groups, rather, not books. Followed those groups for a number of years. They all like it. <laughs> I was actually tempted to half-inch these shifters and put on a mic called the second in the bedroom, but I don't think I will. But, I may keep hold of that one and take that over to Mum's. I could do with a half decent mountain bike over there for summer. Alright, anyway. This seat post is off of the silver bike I picked up today, so will it fit? It does. So I've now got a choice. Do I do up the silver bike that my friend gave me that that seat post came off of? Or do I just leave that in there like that and carry on with this one? Um, it's a steel seat post, but I'm not too fussed. It's clean, it's shiny, it looks good. I could do some steel wool going over it. At least it'll do until I can find perhaps an alloy seat post to put in there. Guys, I'm not actually terribly keen on the idea of a steel seat post in an aluminium frame. Just like I'm not keen on the idea of an aluminium seat post in a steel frame. I don't know who the hell thought that was a good idea. Because when the... Every time I think about it, I forget what the corrosion is called. But um, it's like a powder that builds up between the aluminium and the steel. And it's that that jams it solid. And uh, there is um, uh, stuff you can get to free it off and methods you can use to free it off. I was w again watching uh, RJ the bike guy. He's taught me quite a few things, I have to say. Things that uh, I didn't think of. Take that fucking log off. Take my hacksaw. I'll go through that. It's quite thick though, but it will go through it. Yeah. I think I'll package this up and uh, take it over to Mum's when I next go over. Because, uh, like I said, I could do the half decent mountain bike to bomb around on over there <clears throat> and leave it there for some someone to use. Right. What the hell was I going to do? Done the seat post. That fits. Uh, so I'm just missing a front derailleur. Gear shifters, brake levers, unless I get trigger shifters. With the built-in brake lever. Um, and a chain, which I've got laying on the floor, if it's long enough. Although I may put that chain on the Carrera downstairs. Uh, again, if it's long enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I've actually had quite a uh, relaxing evening at home. Anyway, my battery's done well. It's now on the last bar. Um, speaking of batteries, the um, JVC camcorder I bought home yesterday. Uh, here. The batteries don't hold charge, I turned it on, nothing. So the batteries are stuffed. It's still usable because I can still use the um, power cable that goes between the charger deck and the camera. So I can still run it from the mains using the um, charger caddy. Let me see, so you've got the cable here that plugs into your charger and the camera. No matter which way around, it's the same plug on each end. And then it just plugs into your charger base. There's a little socket on the end there. <laughs> so it's still usable. I could still use it around here if I wanted to. Um, but I think I'm more likely to use the Samson. 
And that's exactly what I'm looking for if you saw my head doing all this. Oh yes, as well. I forgot to mention this. This little thing. I should have filmed it. In fact, I think I will do a video of it. It does work. I ran it from... I took it all apart. Um, and inside the deck there, battery deck, the um, only t terminals that I used are the two centre ones. So what I did, I got my 6 volt lantern battery, wherever that's disappeared to, and uh, just sat the circuit board on top of it and powered it up, and it works. So uh, I then stuck it back together because I've realised it's got a um, little power port there, so... But, uh, just to prove I can take things apart and put them back together again, I'm going to do it again on camera. I mean, I had every conceivable piece taken off of this. I wish I, I should have rolled the camera, really. But I could do that again. Uh, I don't know when. <laughs> but, uh, it's a fun little toy, actually. Considering it's made just for kids, I was surprised at the way the screen looked, you know, the quality of the graphics and whatnot. But, uh, I'll show you, I'll power it up and show you anyway. Um, being messaged on Facebook. There's those. Nine! There we go. I don't know why I like saying no in German for some reason. <sighs> saw a post on the Chroma Town Facebook group and uh, apparently there's a bus stop somewhere in Chroma, I can't remember where but people like to take a piss in it and drop all their litter everywhere and whatnot. usual thing that happens in a lot of bus shelters probably happens in the one that's on, actually I know it happens in both that are in my town in North Walsham <laughs> but what get me is people blame the council now I know North Norfolk District Council are not my favourite people, but I'm not going to blame them for things that isn't their fault. Granted, they should do a bit more to uh, make sure such facilities are kept clean and smelling nice. But at the same time, I wouldn't. A lot of people on that thread were just, to me, talking as if it was purely the council's fault. And uh, it in. Yes, I know it's their responsibility to, uh, like I said, to keep it clean. But uh, don't blame them for it, you know. It's the fucking ignorant bastards that want to, uh, I don't know, maybe they get drunk. I don't know. And then just go take a piss in the shelter, you know. It's disgusting either way, you don't need to do it. I know your pet dogs might, when you take them for a walk, you know, they piss and shit on the ground, but that's different. <laughs> We're meant to be a civilised race. And considering there's toilets everywhere, well, to be honest, if I was going to take a piss outside, it would be in a hedge somewhere. Out of the way, where no one's going to see, where it ain't going to stink. <clears throat> And yes, I have done that when I've been on a bicycle ride and I'm in the middle of the countryside and uh, needed to piss. <laughs> I've gone into a field entrance and behind a hedge and taken a pee. But you know, when you're peeing on the ground like that, where do you think wild animals pee? In exactly the same place you're taking a pee. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Nope. Lifeguards became concerned for Mum Sue's Leisure Centre £20,000 after staff stopped her breastfeeding in pool. Now my view is on that, just before I go. It's a perfectly normal, natural thing to do. It wouldn't bother me. If I was in a restaurant or somewhere and there was a lady breastfeeding her baby, that wouldn't bother me don't see what bothers people to be honest and uh, why lifeguards be lifeguards 
Why lifeguards became concerned for her, I don't know. I mean, she's breastfeeding. It's not like she was breastfeeding feet. Fucking hell. It's not like she was breastfeeding on the end of a diving board or something, was it? <laughs> the lifeguards, their job is to be concerned for the people swimming in the pool, not for those, you know, breastfeeding in the rest area or whatever, because looking at the photo, it does look like she's in like the um, sort of calf area. You can see tables in the background and someone else sitting there. So. That's just daft. It's daft. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know this one's probably quite a long winded video again. Mine tend to uh, go on for a lot longer. I want to keep them to like a 30 minute max, but to be honest, I don't keep an eye on the clock anyway. So they often go on for a lot longer. Right. Tomorrow's task. Crack on with that other box of screws, I suppose, and uh, hope someone buys a bicycle. <laughs> I hope. Ah, fuck that, Whitlow hurts. I haven't. Mum said you shouldn't bite the corners of your finger, because I've got this habit to do that. And bite the skin on the corner of my finger, but I didn't do it to that finger. But a few days before that started to form, actually you can just see it shining there, look. Yeah, you know, a few days before that started to form, I did cut my fingernails, so. Whether if I nicked it a little bit or a bit of bacteria has gotten in there, because, you know, I do play around with dirty old bikes and whatnot. Bicycles, not prostitutes, before anyone gets a dirty mind. If anyone actually knows that reference, that is. Might just be a British thing, I don't know. But a bike is also a nickname for someone who's a slut, <laughs> basically. Someone who can't keep the legs shut. The local bike, they might call them. <laughs> I hate the word slut, I really hate it. Whoa! <laughs> Just closed my screen on me. Right, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, then please hit the like button, it's much appreciated. And, uh, or you can hit the dislike button, it's entirely up to you. I'm not fussed either way. Um, comments are nice if you have any, because I just like to see what other people think. Either of my videos or of anything I mention in the video, or of me, or... I'd rather people were honest, although I don't know if people on YouTube would be honest, considering there's a lot of trolls on YouTube. <laughs> to be honest, if there weren't any trolls, I think YouTube would be a boring place, but the trick is, don't let the trolls get to you. Or join in. Just join in and throw banter back at them. <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.